What's up guys? I'm back to watch another episode of You. Uh, can't get enough of it at the moment. If you hear the rain, if the rain starts to get really loud, like that, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this episode's called Living with the Enemy. And like I said last episode, I feel like Beck's gonna be, I feel like she's kind of falling for him a bit quickly, um, like he is for her, but not in the stalker way. She's blinded by it, the lovey part at the moment and she's not going to see all the weird stuff that he's doing. Peach is getting a bit more onto him so I'm excited to see uh, what happens there. So yeah, let's just get into it because I want to watch it. Yeah, and he said I won't let Peach get in the way of us, so. Be a distraction. No <laughs> Maybe Beck will meet Paco. <laughs> Rate this crap. Sometimes I swear I'm the only real feminist you know. Either a full Brazilian or no. like full book. I feel like the more time he spends with Beck, the more time he has to spend with Beck. Like he has a taste and he has to have more. Do you run everything you post by Peach first? Hell no. You're right. Screw it. This is the ultimate throwback. I just need a brilliant caption. How about bitches being our most authentic selves? Joe, it's like you're in my brain. <laughs> no, I just. Oh, that's weird. Annika never calls. Hey, Annika. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's been kidnapped What's by Peach. <laughs> what video? I've got a bad feeling, Peck. You're joking. Peach posted something worse. Say, keep your friends close. Yeah, he doesn't look like a runner. <laughs> look at the way he runs. <laughs> keep losing your enemies because you're so goddamn out of shape. There's <laughs> Booker Prize finalist, sixty-seven percent of the time's bestsellers list. Which, no offense, begs the question: Why would he be interested in an MFA student? I do care. So. It's like she, he wants, she wants to keep Beck in this little you know bubble what? of going nowhere in Joseph? life. Joseph, it's almost a toxic relationship thing. It's like. I guess it can be a toxic friendship thing as well. I'll take care of everything if you like, why is she? Why she said? Why didn't she say this months ago? Instead, the Count of Monte Cristo. It's another Dumas. And we'll talk when we're done. What's it about? Revenge. But more importantly, living with the enemy. Ah, the title of the episode. I wonder if Paco is gonna do something. He's like, it's like he's training him to be a mini him. She's lucky she has me. Beck rarely knows what's best for her. I couldn't agree more. It's like she just puts Beck from like boy to man to man to man. What if Beck? What if Beck fell in love with that author man? Would she? She'd, she'd just be like, oh, maybe he's not right for you actually. Does Peach have a boyfriend? No, she Peach is never with a guy. Peach is probably into her. <laughs> How did you get that? Damn! They just mugged her whole bag. Hello. How old were you when this was taken back? And what is Peach doing with it? <laughs> I'm working on it. Just, you know, be gentle. Turning her down. It sucks to be right, Beck. She wants to keep her going nowhere in life and clinging to her. Again, to be clear. Racist. The former fat girl who is actually just embracing her body. I mean, girls won't let girls just be. <laughs> Thank God. This was a huge... Peach is here. As in of course here she is. in your apartment. Something about a stolen laptop. Jeez. Yeah, see it, but Peach is the next level vindictive. You know what, if you hate my friends so much, why do you hang out with them? Because you force me to. <laughs> if I see you. An hour. Roger he doesn't Rogers care. He doesn't Rogers care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's never gonna sign you. Peach is setting you up to fail. I heard them talking at the party. Roger thinks MFAs are a waste of time, and Peach said herself she thinks that you are not ready. I'm sorry. I know the truth hurts, but I have to set you free. You are an asshole. <laughs> it's true, though. You, know, you don't believe. In our first fight. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Though, like he's getting That's worse. Thanks to that came out and usually he's better at like holding it in and, and they've only been going out like what a week two weeks 
if that like is I gonna get worse. Point to point. Thanks for nothing, Annika. Beckle is just this, and Beckle is just that. There's no way this works. Beckalicious! Please work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's no definitely she like obsessed with Not her. Sure what I'm looking for, like Joe is. It it's like two stalkers against GB. each other. Gwen of your back. Let's call it what it is. Perversion. How did she get those? You've got a stalker. <laughs> this show is too good, man. 2018, so who gives a shit if she's gay or bi or pan or just immortal in the presence of your dangerous and exceptional pheromones? I'll tell you who. Her family. She takes her normal, healthy feelings and crushes them, nurses them in a dark, secret place for years. Mm. Until they mutate into an obsession, a sickness, and her best friend is a stalker and a sociopath. And... Does he need to follow Peach, though? Like, what are they seeing? What like is he seeing? literary hooker. Get in. What's your thing? Like, is it like daddy, like daughter? Ow, shit. What the hell? What are you doing? Well, this book is crap. He waits 24 years to get justice? What kind of message is that? Oh, Paco. You set me up. Excuse me? You have no idea that he was using it again. I mean, he's been clean since 9 11. When it happened, he was in an airport. I don't give a shit. You threw me under the bus. Oh, my God. She's got a lot to learn. Go to hell. One of your friends. Mm. I don't know what your boyfriend told you. Don't lie to me, Peach. I'm not stupid. I'm not Annika. Junior year, Marcy House. I was there. We were both there. Are you accusing me of sabotaging Annika? And me and anyone else who edges into your spotlight. You would rather pick apart your friends than me. Hold up. If she knew that, how could she stay being friends with Peach and not tell Annika, like... All the characters in this show are just so messed up. It is exhausting being your friend. Beck, come back. Damn, this got me emotional for some reason. I feel bad for Beck, like, they're her only friends. I get why she want, doesn't want to blow up the friend group, but... And all she's got is this weirdo. Just get the message now. You need to stop calling me. Peach? I just wanted to say you're right. Peach! 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 Oh no. Joe, I need towels and. She's done this before. What are you doing? No way. Peach logged her own suicide. 200 milligrams ibuprofen. 15 milligrams Wellbutrin. There isn't enough in her system for a light buzz, let alone an OD. You can't prove I wrote it all down. That is messed up. Thank you for saving me. Joe does have a point. Oh, please don't stop. She could have died. And we're not that lucky. We do have one fight. She really needs me. She needs help, is what she needs. Beck can't do anything for her. I understand. I thought I could better myself for you. I couldn't. Paco's gonna poison him I tried to be the perfect boyfriend. To know for certain what I have to do to protect oh you. Oh no, my god! I just oh my god, everything... He's gonna try is he gonna kill her? My feet runners high. It is pretty great. And I remember this is why I took up jogging. <gasps> Are we joking? She forced my hand. That's on her and her family for screwing her up. I had to, Beck. I had to. And I knew you'd never forgive me, but she gave me no choice. I'm not a bad person. She was going to ruin you. But you're safe now, next to me. 
I just want you to live your best life. It's brave what I do for you. It's not easy. It's hard. Sometimes it makes me sick. This guy's crazy. Help. And that rock, they'd find that rock and and his fingerprints would be on it. And the blood would be on it. And now there's nothing standing between me and Paco. Oh my god. I couldn't take another night. I didn't know how many sleeping pills would knock him out. Well, Beck, you asked me to help Paco, but turns out you're going to save him because it's thanks to you that I know exactly what to do. Any towels? Does your mom have any name Lassen? It would be in the back. The universe has a funny way of keeping us humble. That I mean, that's instant track. karma for killing Peach, so. Peach was attacked in Central Park in broad daylight. I'm headed to the ER next She's alive. Holy sh! Wow, what an episode. I'm so glad I watched that today. So many things. One, the way they, like the whole Annika story and the book um, agent touch on some very real things. And it's just showing more and more that everywhere Beck turns, all she has are the, the two people that act like they care about her, Peach and Joe, and they're like the worst of the worst. I get that Peach has um, like closeted herself and gone crazy over it, so you can. Like, I felt pity in her. Like when he hit her, I was like, oh no! Like even though like she needs help is what she needs, and she has like you know she could she could get better because in a way she's holding it all in she's not hurting anyone directly like joe's killed what how many people we don't even know he's killed benji he tried to kill peach and i can't believe she survived that like is she gonna know and he's just been beaten bloody like you can't go to the er looking like that because then beck's gonna be like what happened to you were you involved like <laughs> it's just really bad timing for joe but Holy moly, this is such a good series. And I'm hoping Joe can turn it around and save Paco from what he's become. Because he's grown up in a, in a bad home. It's like, God, talk to the mum, like, Joe, like, if you really want to help. But no, I feel like he is the, the book owner in his story, you know? Yeah, I'm excited to see the next episode. What's the next one called? Armour. Armour Fu no idea what that means but we shall see so i'll see you in the next episode guys can't wait bye don't forget it mike and uh subscribe